Future Market has thousands of board games at discounted prices. Click the direct link below for The Rich and the Good or any other game. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, we're going to be manipulating a market of commodities, buying and selling stocks to help us, but we've got to give to charity because at the end of the game, even if you have the most money, if you gave the least amount to charity, you can't win. Today, we're taking a look at The Rich and the Good. This is from Ares Games. Let me show you how it plays. I'll see you on the other side. In The Rich and the Good, you are going to be manipulating markets of different types of commodities. And you're going to be maybe adding to them, adding their values, subtracting to their values, buying and selling. That's the name of the game. Now here's the board set up. Here are all the different commodities that you're going to be buying and selling and manipulating. And they start with a certain value actually at 40. But over the course of the game, as you manipulate them, they're going to be going you know, down or up and increasing or decreasing values. You're gonna be buying and selling at different times and trying to make the most money. Now the game is played over two main rounds. So think of it as two halves of the game. Now each of those halves of the game, uh, you're gonna go through two phases, but you're gonna do that four times. So think of going through two phases, but doing that four times in a row. So on the first phase, what you're gonna do is, it's the stock phase. And going to start playing going clockwise, you can either purchase or shell, sell shares. Now when you do that, you can purchase or sell one to three. So you could buy all three of these, or maybe one of these and one of these and one of these, but you don't have to buy all three, but you could buy up to three shares. Or you could sell up to three shares, which is taking shares that you have, selling them, putting them back, and taking money, depending on how much, where they're at right now. And by the way, in this game, it is paper money, which I'm not extremely excited about. Now, all the shares you purchase are in front of you, but they're face down. Now, instead of buying or selling shares in that phase, you can decide to place one of your shares face down on your own charity board. So you'd go like this. This is really important because at the end of the round, everyone's gonna flip up how much they've given to charity and put it here and add it up, and everyone's gonna get, get to know how much money they've given to charity. This is important because that would start the second half of the game. At the end of the game, you're gonna do the same thing where everyone will take the ones that they've secretly given to charity, they'll put it here. At the end of the game, everyone adds up the total amount they've given to charity. Whoever has given the least cannot win even if they have the most money. Now once each player in turn order has done the stock phase, meaning they've either purchased or sold shares or placed one on their charity board, we go to manipulating the market. Now what they're gonna do, one of these is in between the player between us and the player to our left. So it'd be kind of like over here. But I placed them here just so it's easier to see. This one would be in between me and the player to my right, it'd be like this. So from here, we're gonna take one card from this side and one card from this side. However, we get to decide which card it is. And one of the sides, we get to have the value. So maybe I just bought a green. So I would take this out, I would play it. Green goes plus six. And sure, we'd go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now green is now worth 70. And then I need to take one card from here, but it's gonna be halved. So maybe I take this one that's a yellow minus four, but it gets halved, so it goes minus two. And so we go just like this. Then it'll be the next player's turn. And so all players are gonna continue doing this essentially for four uh, you know, turns around. So yeah, once everyone has manipulated the market, then you go back to the stock phase where you buy or sell shares or add it to your charity board, and then you do this. So you're going back and forth between buying, selling shares, and then manipulating the market four times throughout the round. So you, you're, you're learning information as you're doing that. Now, by the time you're at the end of the round, all of these cards will be gone. And again, that's when people would uh, see how much they've given to charity and figure out what the value of that is. Now, keep in mind, the cards that are placed here, they're shuffled from a deck of cards, and so it's somewhat random. You don't use all the cards, and it's going to make every round feel a little bit different. Play a whole nother sort of round of four turns of stock phase market manipulation phase, and then you end the game. Whoever has the most money that did not give the least is the winner. Before I get to the moment you've been waiting for, I want to let you know that Game Toppers 4.0 Kickstarter recently launched, where they'll have 10 new thematic game mats, including Vincent Dutre's Lost Worlds Jungle Mat, and new accessories and storage solutions, along with custom thematic art on rails of the Game Toppers, and they're giving away the new Young Sherlock Game Topper package, which is great as a movable coffee table, children's gaming table, and for puzzles. Scan the QR code or go to GameToppersLLC.com to enter and win now. One thing I love about this game, streamlined turns. I love stock games, um, and this one is smooth as butter. It's like, you know, you're buying or selling shares or putting one as your charity. Then next time, once everyone does that, then we're gonna go through and 
You take a card from this and a card from this, move this one up, move this one down, that's it. Like it's quick. Turns are fast in these games. Uh, and and this, the, the decisions are simple, but yet they are deep. You're Because you're either, you know, buying or selling shares, which again, one to three shares, I like that they give you the freedom. You can buy one of these or one of these or two of these or one of these or all three of these. Same with selling. You have the flexibility on the selling side of things. Or you're just simply adding that stock to the charity. Which one do you add? Well, if you add one down there, you're going to want to make that one go high because you want that to be worth more money at the end because you want to make sure that you've given more than somebody else. Um, manipulating the market is really cool. I like the shared information between your neighbors where it's like you're looking at the place to the left of you and you're like, oh, me and this person know this and me and this person on my right know this thing. And, you know, in turn order, the player on the right does something and then they take a card. You're like, okay, I see why they're doing that, obviously. I can see it. The other people can't see it. Um, but watching what other people are doing, you can kind of gauge what you think is behind their shield and you can kind of jump on their bandwagons. If the two players that you can't see their board both bought three shares of red, there's likely some plus sixes and plus fours of reds up there, maybe no negatives, right? So maybe you should jump on that or are they bluffing, right? Uh, it, it adds a lot of depth there. Um, I like that one of the cards is full amount and the other card you must have. And I love that. It never lets things get too swingy and it never lets things just get completely blown up. It kind of like flattens the possibilities of the distribution down. I think that's a very interesting way of doing it where one of them you have to have, one of them you don't. Uh, it gives you interesting of like when you're picking things where sometimes you're even like fighting with your neighbor, right? Like you both can see the same cards and like you're trying to move things up. Sometimes they might try to move down because of which way they, they have things. That's interesting. Uh, and of course, assessing the charity at the, at the end of the first round is great because you get to see where you're at and then it always makes you overcompensate or undercompensate depending, it always happens. Uh, and I really like that the market cards are randomized. That gives you a lot of replayability that not all the cards are in every round. And so you, there might be some rounds where things are gonna go down more often than up or things are gonna go up more often than down, right? You never can quite tell what the market's gonna do. You can only see what you can see and that's gonna be different. And I like that replayability there. On the negative side of things, the game is not a looker. What I mean by that is someone walks by, it's not one that's gonna like grab them and bring them into the table. It doesn't look great, the components are okay, the art's okay, like it's got paper money. Like components is not selling this game, art's not selling this game. The streamlined and deep gameplay is selling this game. And another negative I could say is with five players, it can feel a little too chaotic for some, just because so many things are happening by the time it gets back to your turn that you think you can have some plans and it might be a little too chaotic, right? Uh, so that's what I think about uh, the, the Rich and the Good Fantastic Game. It's been the Game Boy Geek, breaking down barriers, growing relationships through board games by helping you on the next one you love. Game Toppers not only transforms your existing table into a high quality gaming solution, but they now offer full leg kits and dining cover solutions for the full table application. Paired with over 20 styles of thematic game mats in 11 different sizes from notable board game artists like Vincent Dutre, collapsible cup holders, and real cool accessories, experience what thousands of other gamers enjoy by upgrading every game you play with a Game Topper system. Save hundreds of dollars on Game Topper package deals that are in stock now for immediate shipping at GameToppersLLC.com or click the link below.